Hey, good morning or good good day. It's Monday, February fifth, and it's um, we got two weeks to go. FRC teams, so you got to bag your robot. Well, two weeks in a day. Um, so hopefully you're driving. Hopefully you're breaking things. Those kind of things. I did notice that there was a team out there. Good job, Mean Caymans. Not like Dean Cayman? Is that is that what you're going for? They have they have de denim here, so. They Maybe that's what they're going for is a play on the word Dean or the name Dean Cayman. So the mean Caymans, this is the first breakage of a robot. So pretty good, pretty good. Oh my gosh. But I did notice it, it, it fell on the front of their bumper and then the whole thing kind of is cocked in now. So this isn't perpendicular to the floor. And that's too bad that that broke, obviously. But that's a good thing. They have two weeks to fix this. If this would have happened two weeks from tonight and they have to bag it tomorrow night, that's panic. They have all the time in the world to fix this thing. So good job, 6802, for breaking things early, fixing it, and then maybe you'll break it again and you'll fix it again and you're great. So you guys are smart. Good job. Maybe, uh, what, what, should, what should we do? Should we do a break your bot contest? So, no, I'll ask, I'm not going to ask Ruth, I'm going to ask you guys. Should we do a break your bot contest? We had one last year and I was actually kind of disappointed. Yes, we were disappointed in the lack of entries. Let's see if we should, I, I want you guys to respond. I'm not just gonna do it and, and without you guys telling me, yeah, that's a good thing. So I want you to tweet at us, YouTube message us, smoke signal us, whatever you wanna do. Tell us that you do want a break your bot contest because I wanna see some broken bots out there. I wanna see them broken, fixed, and broken and fixed and that iterating that we all like to do. So let me know what, what you want to see with regard to a contest and broken robots. <laughs> Speaking of robots, we're working on the stair climbing robot here at Andy Mark, and we're working this with this wonderful company called Transcend Robotics. Transcend has this patent on this little mechanism on these robots that, that we now manufacture for them and for Transcend sales, and they're, they are easily climbing up stairs with someone who doesn't even need, be, need to be trained on how to drive the robot. So. We'll have, we have some videos here to show you how that works. This is a wonderful tool for um, police forces, sheriff departments, tactical units to get into houses, get into situations where they're not putting their, their um, staff at risk and hopefully saving many lives with this wonderful tool. First updates now is having a good episode tonight um, of Candidly Speaking with our friend Justin Ridley. Hey Justin. And he's gonna be talking about Einstein, a little bit of Einstein changes with the, the, the World Championships events, and also he is an expert in making the Robonauts uh, release video every year. So Team 118 has this wonderful release video every year, and he's the person that, that leads that entry with the students and the other mentors. So I'm sure everybody has some questions on like, how do you pick the song? How do you, how do you frame out the different shots? How do you get that video magic to work and all that. Even, they always have a wonderful robot, but everybody looks forward to seeing their wonderfully produced release video. So check out First Updates Now tonight with Justin on it and see what he has to say. The first autonomous I've seen is um, FRC 2410 is this autonomous mode. It's even a swerve drive. It's not even, it's not even a kit chassis. Swerve drive to autonomous mode, boom, right there. Pretty cool. Oh, sorry. I was, I was getting into it. Yeah. What's the grasshoppers doing? Now I'm going to go into YouTube rabbit hole. We'll see what happens. Ooh. What's that on their gripper? It looks like a, like, a, like a knobby chain of some sort. Okay. Dang, grasshoppers. That's pretty good. What is that on their, on their gripper? The, the track system. Seriously. Like adjustable V-belt type thing, maybe? It's, it's a belt system and a pneumatic open and close. That's pretty neat. And so this is a pneumatic raising and lowering of the gripper, and the whole thing is on a, a pulley system. That's a nice looking arm. Looks like it's quick, efficient, lightweight. Yeah, a little wobbly, but I wonder what kind of drive system they have. Oh, they got four wheel drive of some sort. I don't know what it is. That's great. Good job, 95. I can't even, I can't even, I can't even. So on our team, we have these, these deadlines that we're trying to hit, like this one is, um, on this coming Wednesday, we have submitted our WFFA entry. 
um, choose Dean List nominees, those are all down here. But the X's are the deadlines that we've hit, the circles are, are the deadlines that we missed. So we're hitting most of our deadlines, which I'm really happy about. That means we're going to hit our deadlines down here. So hopefully you have similar milestones with your team and hopefully you're having some success hitting your deadlines. Speaking of deadlines, you guys had a Sunday night deadline for this week's coloring contest where we had um, Jamie, JB, and Alex on the, behind the Alliance station. I don't know what they were doing. JB was doing this or something. I don't know, but it was kind of crazy and we put it out there and you guys once again delivered. We got a, a few good ones. We didn't get we didn't get as many entries as we have in weeks past. Maybe you're busy. Maybe you're building a robot. Good for you. But we did have one that stood out, and this one, it's it's more of a collection. It's more of a collection of work than it is just one entry. But the winner this week goes to Team sixty three fifty two Team Launch, and also this this guy is also on Team eleven sixty five. For FRC and FTC teams 11365 and 11794. This guy is all over the place. Steven Robertson, you are the man. And I, th I think you must have hit this, must be your starburst period of art because I see a recurring theme here. We got this one from last week. You got week one's entry. You got week two's entry. You got week three's entry. And I, I think these. This theme is quite impressive, much much like, um, you know, like uh, I don't know, Monet's water lilies and haystacks, or or Van Gogh's starry. I don't know. For your entire body of work, you're the winner, and congratulations. Now we do have we do have a new picture, and it's none over, none other than a uh, director of engineering here at Anywork, everyone's favorite Jerry Bud. So notice this is the picture. And what we're leaving blank is his face. So we expect some, some very funny and um, appropriate um, art that includes Jerry's expression there on this picture. That's his Australian hat that he got for being the, the continual FTA down at the Down Under events. Have fun. Be creative. Keep it G-rated. Sunday night deadline. No, you <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, so here, we got our cubes. Um, th these obviously are in short supply. I think that's pretty famously um, blogged about. We'll see you on Wednesday. Have a good week. Be safe. Have fun. Effortless. Effortly. Really effortless. Easily? I can't even say it. Effortlessly. It's effortlessly. It's so amazing. It's effort. I just. Yeah, we'll I'm not saying own. they're wrong. I'm just saying that. He's saying they're wrong. I would rather than focus. Do they, do they spin? Can you spin one of these things? Like, like this? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs>